Here we have another example from surface sketching, functions of two variables. We're asked to sketch the level curves associated with this function. f of x comma y equals x squared, uh, sorry, equals y squared minus x squared. Now what I'm going to do is sketch the level curves and then give you some uh, basic interpretation of what the surface looks like based on those level curves. So, for the level curves, we consider f of x comma y equals a constant, c say. And then what we do is we make some choices for C that give us some intuition and that give us some easy ways to hopefully draw these level curves. So in this case, I, I can take all sorts of values for C. There's no restriction on C. So what I'm going to do is just choose uh, an easy starting point, say C equals 0, C equals 1, C equals minus 1, C equals 2, C equals minus 2. Those five curves should give you some idea, or, or the, the, the five curves associated with those values should give you some idea of what's happening. Okay, we should be able to draw the level curves from that. So, it's just a matter of going through each case. So, consider the case C equals 0. So, over here, I want to sort of extract some curve from x squared minus y squared equals zero. Well, if that's zero, I, c I, I won't write that in just yet, I can factorize this. So, If I solve that, I know y is going to be positive x or minus x. So these are both two lines. And I'll sketch them in in a minute. What about, say, the case c equals 1? I go up to here, replace c with 1, I'll get y squared minus x squared equals 1. Now you may not recognise it, but that's a special curve. Anyone recognise it? Hyperbola. Okay, it's a hyperbola. So just like this gave us two curves, these were lines, these are, are pretty much going to give us two parabolas. Okay, let's just do one more case, and then we'll, we'll, we'll sketch in some of these curves. Okay, so here we've got y squared minus x squared equals minus 1. Again, that's going to be a hyperbola as well. So before we go any, any further, let's draw in the curves associated with these three cases and see what's happening. Okay? Okay, so the easiest case is the case c equals 0. <coughs> Basically, draw in the line y equals x and y equals minus x. Okay, so both of these curves are associated with the case c equals 0. Now, what does this mean with the surface? Well, if I intersect the surface with the xy plane, then you get these two, the, the curves of intersection are these two lines. Okay? What about the case uh, C equals 1? Well, I get a hyperbola. So, 
from this, I can sketch in this curve here, which goes through uh, one on the y-axis, and this curve here that goes through minus one on the y-axis. See, it's just one. Positive one and positive one. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, these two curves are the curves of intersection between the horizontal plane, z equals one, and the surface. Okay? What about the third case, c equals minus one? Well, again, with a, a little bit of work, you can sketch the curves associated with that case as well. They just sort of intersect the x-axis at 1 and negative 1. Okay, so those curves are the curves of intersection with the surface in the plane z equals minus 1. So hopefully you can see a pattern now. If I chose, say, c equals 2 in here, what do you think the curve would look like? Well, it would look like something like this. Again, more hyperbole that cut the axis, the y-axis at 2 and minus 2. Okay, and similarly, if I chose c equals uh, minus 2 here, you would get these curves here. Okay, <coughs> okay. Now, how do you actually turn this into a surface? We've, we've drawn the level curves in the xy plane. They're a little bit rough, but we get the idea. How do you turn this into a surface? Well, that's hard to do, and it's something that we would not ask you to do, okay? But let me give you a picture and show you what's happening here. Now, I have used, uh, plotted this using Maple. It's the contour plot 3D command. Very good. Hopefully you can see these contour curves are the hyperbole that we've drawn in the XY plane, okay? And similarly, here are some more hyperbole that we've drawn in the xy plane, okay? So what, so what would you do with these guys? Well, I if you think of the z positive z-axis coming out of the screen at you, you would push these two curves down two units. You would, you would push this curve, these, these are the curves uh, associated with c equals minus one, you would push them down one unit. You would leave those the same. You would push this curve and this curve up one unit, up the z-axis. And the, the green curve, you would pull them up two units, up the z-axis. Okay, so that there, hopefully, you can see some relationship between the graph on the right and the surface and the contour curves on the left.